In the introductory video in this section, we showed you how we created our first package. And we actually did it on this mold parts task right here with these four different major activities going on here. And what actually happened was we created an Excel sheet you can see here. It's got the cover sheet, which details the part production, the setup, cleanup, oven process, same as the major activities here. And then it's got a job element sheet that breaks out e all the elements that go into each of the different major groupings we have in here. Now what happened behind the scene was we gave this, we called this our ACS demo package. And you can see if I go back and here's my packages folder, here's ACS demo. And what actually happened was here is the source Excel sheet, the starting point. And then what it's done, you can see in the background here, the name it's given to it, it's mold parts dash TP, that means time of pros maintaining it, and we're currently on revision 1, and it's a macro enabled sheet here, and you can actually see that one right here, that's it right here, mold parts TP underscore 001, this is Excel sheet, now at the exact same second that was created, we made a copy of the process in the background that created that, so even though it's still called parts production with options here, it's actually saved here as being mold parts dash tp underscore zero zero one because this we want to preserve a complete history of everything that happened when this was created this was the state of the process here and it also saved the, the the parts production this was the version of the parts production that was used this will actually continue to be updated inside this folder as we made additional packages here so this is what's in here right now and what we're going to do is we're going to add another package so we click down here on the um, task description we select package. Now the first time when you're in, it asks you for the package name. Once you've given it a name, it will remember that. So all I have to do is say package a station. And it's instantly going to create that. You can see it's been done here, it's stack parts, it's timer pro, and it's 001 of this particular version of the process right here. So you can see it's just running through. And I've only got two groups in here. I've got the stacking parts and I've got the replenishment here. And just like before, there's two activities in each of these groupings here. So what I want to do is bring out the current version of this. I hit the right mouse button on the task. I go to the package and say current Excel versions. It opens up here. I'll make it a little smaller so we can see at the same time as the data in the background here. So just like before in the mold parts, there are two, there's a cover sheet with the stacking parts and the replenishment. And of course that represents what you see here, stacking parts and replenishment. Go back to the details. Here's the cover sheet. And you can see stacking parts and replenishment. And then here's the stacking parts with the two activities involved in that. With, of course, the times and so forth out to the right here. And here's the replenishment with the two activities involved in this. Now let's look at what's happened behind the scenes here. If I sort it by date modified. Here's the mold parts here. Here's the stack parts. There's a copy of the process at that particular point in time, the chip X file. Here is the updated Excel sheet. That's the one that we're looking at right in the background here one right here. See stack parts. TP is controlling it. They're on revision one here. And you get the uh, actual copy of the current process right here as well. So again, we get the backup copy of what was what it was like when we did this. We have the current process right here itself. 